Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. I decided to go ahead and do the general love readings to make up for last week, and then also I need some more time to figure out what I'm going to do with the sexual tarot videos. And those will resume, absolutely. Uh, but they do need to be tweaked and or modified. So if you're subscribed, hit the bell, so that way you can get the message when I release it on the community page uh, regarding input on that, because I will be doing a poll for the sexual tarot videos. Again, I'm not discontinuing them. I do need to tweak them. Okay, so keep your eye out for that poll. Thank you. What's going on? Take what resonates, leave it does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. It's normal when portions resonate, sometimes a great deal, sometimes none whatsoever. If that's the case, check out your other placements, or I'll catch you on the next one. All right, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? Show me what I need to see, please, for Capricorn. I want to give a shout out to Michelle. You remain positive, as always. You are a phenomenal Capricorn. Love you. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? Show me Capricorn. Show me Capricorn. Show me Capricorn. Hmm. Six of Swords. Or, I'm sorry, no, Nine of Swords. Read that upside down. Some of you might be experiencing some worry at this time. Okay, hopefully it's not too substantial. What's going on? Okay, this is the Dark Terror Royale, one of my favorites. Show me that past, please. Show me that past for Capricorn. Show me that past for Capricorn. Reverse energies as it applies. Um, you know, that sounds like I'm describing your person or situation. There you go. It's in the reverse. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, Five of Cups. Four, <laughs> five. Of, that's, that's some ass-kicking energy right there. Five and five, not great. Five of Cups, Five of Swords. Uh, begrudgingly giving something up, don't want to. Sometimes that Five of Swords is the context of I'm prepared to win at all costs, and that includes possibly some low-level manipulation. So it still kind of ended up the same way. There's too much pain here, too much distrust, too much doubt, either for them, for you, the both of you. That's Five and Five energy that's pretty strong. Uh, but it is looking like a very strong loss here. Okay, what's in, some of you had to learn some things the hard way. What's in front of that Five of Swords, please? What's in front of that Five of Swords, please? What's going on? What's going on? Hmm. Three of Cups. Somebody wants to reconnect. The other person ain't interested. I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess. All right. Should I bother trying to bring this thing together? Yes or no? I'm thinking the answer is no. Not great. That's some serious ass-kicking energy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's currently temperance. Give it time. Temperance consideration. You know, don't rush into any decisions anytime soon. It doesn't look good anyway, and I think you already know that. Let me know if you're connecting with Sag. Don't have to be. It's just an FYI. Okay? What's in front of Temperance, please? What's in front of Temperance, please? What's in front of Temperance, please? What's in front of that? But doing some deep healing. Time goes by. Your feelings are going to have changed. You will manifest things in the correct direction, particularly regarding your stability, the Eight of Coin. This is no surprise here. When in doubt, we manifest what we know to be true, and that is our personal structure, right, with that coin. I know to work to be true. I know my surroundings and environment to be true right? So we heal ourselves through manifesting what we know to be true, to be solid, to be there for us, to be correct at all times, right? So that's a very normal reaction. So give it time, temperance, consideration. Somebody might have suggested, hey Capricorn, let's reconnect. I think the answer to that was a big old no. Show me the future, please. Show me the future, please. Show me that future, please. Show me the future, please. What's going on? Show me that future, please. What's going on? Some of that future, please, for Capricorn. What's going on there? Ace of Pentacle could be a new offer on the table. Okay, that's cool. Show me the future, please. There's some concern here about new love and a new passion, a new pathway. Will it grow? Will it develop? So that tells me you met somebody and it provoked a great deal of your thoughts immediately. The idea here is, am I ready? I don't know. Are you? You'd be the best judge of that. Let's narrow it down, please. Let's narrow it down. I don't know. Somebody kicked off your thoughts rather quickly. Show me that future, please. Show me the future. Let's narrow it down, please. Let's focus. Let's focus. Let's focus. Judgment. Is it time? Judgment is the ultimate representation of is it time. You know? People often wait, oh, wait for the timing to be right. And most people have no idea when the timing is right. It's usually just happens upon us. And it puts us in this position of, well, shit, now I need to critically examine if I'm ready or not. Mm. 
What's behind the judgment? What's behind the judgment? So that would explain all that provoking I saw, even though it was in the context of new. So a new, a new Ace of Cups, a new sense of passion. Some of you might be interested in Aries or Leo. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I know. When you meet someone new and it kind of provokes those thoughts, am I ready for this? Am I ready for this? What's behind judgment, please? What's behind judgment? Let's narrow down the thoughts. I see your energy is terribly excited. Decision has to be made. Yeah. Decision has to be made. Pursue that sun or not. Or is it going to be a burden? See, the, when you're confronted with new, I'm looking at a Capricorn. That is when confronted with new, you have hope and severe crippling doubt simultaneously. Okay. Hence, are you ready? You have to make that decision. You know, it's... Uh, Cancer often gets made fun of as a sign because they'll go on two or three dates and then they start planning the future in a positive aspect. You could say the same is true of Capricorn, but in the reverse. Like you go on two or three dates with somebody and you're already kind of planning for the worst, right? That's that calculated risk thing in you. See, are you healed? That's the question. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's get something more conclusive. And so Capricorn has the opposite end of that particular stick. You could go on two or three dates with somebody and immediately your thoughts turn to what kind of hardship am I getting myself into? So you're kind of like Cap uh, Cancer's counterpart in that respect. What's behind the two of wands, please? What's behind that two of wands? Come on, man. Focus. I want to see an actual decision here. Show me what's behind it. Seven of Cups. So you're going to consider your options. Good. Good. So hopefully that means you're not going to dismiss it outright because you are going to come across a rather substantial... It's time, Capricorn. It's a time check. Judgment here in this context is a time check. Are you ready for this? And it immediately kicks off your hope and your anxiety. You know, the best of your sun and the worst of your fears simultaneously. You're going to consider the options. I'd rather see that than nothing at all. Okay, in other words, hopefully I'm looking at a Capricorn who is not letting their insecurities or fears get the better of them. Okay, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Capricorn. What's going on? Slowly but surely, you're headed towards connection. It does not have to be reconnection. People get that confused often with the Three of Cups. It often just means connection, socializing, putting ourselves out there, meeting up, family, friends, having a drink, you know? Slowly but surely. It could be for reconnection for some of you. Judgment can sometimes represent a comeback call. This is your second chance. You know, do it right this time or give up, that kind of thing. But I don't feel like that's it. Not with the cards I saw earlier that kept trying to come out. I kept saying new, but when you're confronted with new, it immediately kicks off the worst of your anxiety. Am I ready for this? What am I getting into exactly? Is this going to prove to be a hardship down the road? All that. Like I said, it's kind of like a the opposite experience. Poor cancer. They get as much uh, they get as much grief as you do. They do because they're just so emotional. <laughs> Poor cancer. All right, what's going on? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Capricorn. Show me that five and five energy. Show me that five and five energy. I know that this was an emotional loss. Uh, it looks like a kind of a battle to me. It looks like a battle to me. Uh, one that did not go well. Show me that five and five, please. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Come on, man. Show me. No, you don't have to be embarrassed. You don't have to be shy. Come on. Just show me what happened. Eight of Cups. See, that wasn't so hard. We had to walk away from all this, yeah? We had to fight from the emotional loss, the regret, the combativeness, the willingness to to win at all costs, the mind games, the emotional play. Okay, Eight of Cups. Walk away from it. Walk away from it. It was too much of a burden. It wasn't for lack of trying. Somebody tried to express their love to make the sun happen, to manifest the best, but ultimately you understood the love wasn't going anywhere, okay? So yes, it was a burden. I'll go ahead and take that because it's being such a huge emphasis and I want you to see it too. Um, I'm not making this up. This is how the cards come out. So yeah, no, it was too much of a burden. And I do feel like there was too much skirmishes. That word is coming across very strongly. It felt too skirmishy. Like you had encounters that were negative with your person as opposed to positive. Too many skirmishes, too many side battles, too many something, man. You know? Possibly emotional withholding, you know, I'm not talking to you, that kind of thing. Um, because I, I don't like that. That Five of Swords does imply low level manipulation next to that Five of Cups. Um, you know, I don't think your person or you, somebody does not regret playing that kind of emotional mind games and somebody had to walk. It was just too much of a burden. Show me this Three of Cups. Show me that Three of Cups, please. Show me that Three of Cups, please. Show me. Show me that Three of Cups, please. 
it was like there was an indecision period with that two of swords about whether or not to reconnect with this person and that was immediately squashed okay i just don't think it happened you know i think you tried to show this person uh patience and consideration but no the the, the energy is just way too burdensome way too burdensome way too burdensome here um, there might have been an accusation Page of Cups to the Hierophant. Let me know if you're dealing with Taurus. That's confirmation for some of you, or not all of you, or if you have Taurus in your chart, pay attention. Um, I do believe... I don't... I'm not seeing outside interference, but it does seem to be a question mark for somebody. Were they connecting with somebody else? That's not really the point. That's really not the point. I'm sorry to say that, but this, that's not the point. With all this disconnectivity and the disregard of somebody's mind and emotionality. T utter disregard here. Okay. The burdens. Somebody's incapable of expressing their true emotionality. Everything about this relationship is a burden. Doesn't really matter. The confusion stands about whether or not to connect with this person or reconnect. The answer is going to be no. I can tell you right now. Um, or whether they sing with somebody else. I don't. I can see why you would think that. Given the Five of Cups or the Five of Swords, it, it feels like that not-so-great energy. I don't know about that. I feel like um, somebody was just way too reserved. Way too reserved with that hair font here and the Page of Cups going in the opposite direction. Somebody... Somebody just... It was probably a commitment thing, but there was just too little emotionality being expressed. Okay way too little love being expressed or God knows what. Okay. But, uh, yeah, no, the hair font here is not signing off on that. Not signing off on it. Not signing off on this, whatever this is. Okay. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody, the abandonment had to happen. Okay. Show me temperance. Or it could be that this is yet to be. Perhaps you two have broken away and come back before. Show me temperance, please. Show me temperance. Show me temperance. Show me temperance. Let me know if you're doing the sad. We have Taurus here. Yeah, those are the two major players at this time, although it could be anyone, of course. Show me Temperance, please. Why is Temperance here? Three of Pentacles, getting back to the basics, getting back to the structure. Okay, some of you might insist on being friends or acquaintance with this person, um, given time when you can see them in a different light, in a different way. Okay, then you might be able to see them as a working friendship or acquaintance, especially if they are proper XX, and then sometimes you have to have ongoing communication with them. Um, but given time and consideration, you might be able to work with this person in a way that's healthy and productive again. But for the most part, I just see you guys healing, going back to the basics of Three of Pentacles. Again, this is what I know to be true, but starting over. Does that make sense? So the Three of Pentacles is starting over very much so for Earth energy. Okay. Whereas, say, again, let's do the Cancer reference. Okay. For them, starting over might be a Page of Cups or the Three of Cups. It's coming from a water space. You're coming from an Earth space. I see this more as you healing and starting over. The Three of Pentacles. Okay. What else, please? What else, please? What else, please? King of Swords, quite firm about this. And blocking. Yeah, okay. King of Swords and Seven of Wands, blocking. Blocking. This is a firm decision. Okay. Having to start over, being commanding about it, have, being decided about it. This person, you might have to work with because you have to sometimes. Okay, with that Three of Pentacles energy, it is a possibility, but for the most part, you it, it will not be taken beyond this point, especially if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. It's like, no, I'm... Mm -mm. Block. This is a firm decision. I will work with you into the extent that I have to, but it will not go beyond that. This is simply an acquaintance or friendship vibe. Okay, that's, that's coming across really strongly for some of you, okay? So it's, uh, that's, again, getting back to basics. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, focusing on ourselves. I insist upon this. When you start to feel better, that's when you're going to start reaching out again with that Three Cups energy. Show me the manifestation. What is Capricorn manifesting? Show me what uh, Capricorn is manifesting. New passion, baby. Ace of Wands. Excellent. A new passion, a new fiery, a new pathway. Or... It could be the renewal of hope. Interesting. Renewal of hope with who? 
Well, I'm just being nosy. Show me the Ace of Wands, please. Is it, uh, ooh, moving forward. Ooh, summoning the courage to move forward. Move forward into what? The, the chariot is here. Okay. <laughs> so that's meant to be. All right. The, the, the manifestation, the strength, the nerve to move forward. Ooh. Is it just in the general sense or is there someone involved here? Could literally be a cancer. Or if you have cancer in your placement, you just want to get more in touch with yourself again. Could be. Is there someone specific here or is it just in the general sense? Because that's a really strong forward momentum. I know. The manifestation with the chariot and the ace of wands. Whew, talk about starting over. Blocking this person. Heavy Sag energy that you feel the need to block. That's for some of you, not all of you. I'm sorry, it's just coming across very loudly. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. Careful. Some of you might be headed right back to that same person you disconnected with. The temperance is now here twice. Let's take it off the zodiac grid. I feel like your manifestation to move forward into new passion, new life, into a new person gets stronger, okay, by the day. So that's lovely healing energy if that's true. I just don't want you to find justification to have new passion with an old person that looks like they cause you a great deal of grief. Okay, and I'm talking a substantial amount of grief. So that's for some of you, not all of you, because that would be a useless fight with the Nine of Wands energy. Show me the Eight of Pentacles, please. Okay. So there's, you know, do keep in mind there's a reason that you separated and there's a reason why you, you insisted upon blocking this energy. Show me that Eight of Pentacles, please. But again, that's some of you, not all of you. For the most part, I just see it as time goes on, your confidence in moving forward into a new pathway. Um, renewed sense of passion, renewed sense of self continues on. Show me that Eight of Pentacles, please. Like I said, you continue to take comfort in what it is that you know to be true. The Eight of Pentacles, your day-to-day -day structure, your work environment, who you are and what you're about. Okay, there you are, King of Pentacles, leveling up. You are moving forward. Oh, thank God. Okay, I don't want you to go back to this person that you had to work so hard to disconnect from. Okay, so the King of Pentacles, more of that Taurian energy, but again, that's just you in this context and Six of Swords moving forward. You're moving forward in your work goals, your practicality, your comfort and structure of home. You're gathering your resources, etc. Taking care of yourself, in other words. Okay, in the future, show me judgment. I do feel like someone is going to come along and provoke that sense of readiness or there's someone whom you wish to connect with and it's like, is it time? Is it time? Is it time to connect with this person at last? You know, that kind of vibe. I do get that kind of vibe, though. I don't feel like this is some random pop-up person. There's someone here that's like, while you are healing and you are fixing yourself up, this is the person who has never left your mind, and it's time. It's time. Ten of Pentacles. It's time. It's the strength of the personal conviction in this context. It's time. It's time to get back to a Ten of Pentacles. It's time to get back into a commitment. There's someone here, I insist upon this, This is interesting. They're pulling up Queen of Pentacles energy. I, I, I insist upon this. This is not a new person you're smacking into. I'm not saying it's an ex. It's someone whom you know to be in existence. Okay. Um, this might be someone that you've always perhaps wondered about. They seem to be confident and single, and they do seem to be open to meeting people. Queen of Pentacles. This is someone who is already reliable and possibly has money in her own right. Um, quite stable, quite practical. They seem to be rejoicing. They, they're doing quite well. Okay, is it time for you to have a new Ten of Pentacles? And I'm telling you there's someone here you are contemplating reaching out to. Is it time as I move forward in my life? So that's balanced energy. Queen of Pentacles for the King of Pentacles. That's lovely. Um, yeah, but that... Let's see. Oh, but you doubt yourself. You doubt yourself. Am I ready for that? Am I ready for a new commitment? The Ten of Pentacles... Seven of Swords, am I ready? Am I ready? So again, it's is it time, Capricorn? Is it time? You know? I do feel like there is someone in your life or in your world that is provoking these thoughts. Are you ready? Is it time? Okay. There is a decision to be made here, and I'm telling you, you're already in contemplation of someone's known energy. Known. Okay? They do not have to be an ex. The world is not that black and white. Uh, so, show me what I need to see, please. Show me the decision. There is some doubt here, but I do believe the strength of your conviction with that Ten of Pentacles is stronger than the doubts that you carry with you. Is it time? 
Is it time to have a new Ten of Pentacles, a new foundation, a new legacy, a new level of community and access, and someone who can fulfill my life and bring balance and stability? Show me that Two of Wands. Eight of Pentacles is working on it. You're literally working on making that decision. You don't know if something's over or not. There you are, and you're being firm about it. Oh, but there's a passion behind you. Show me. Show me the decision, please. For a coin, this could be, since you are or sign, it could be confirmation of your decision that, yes, you are literally working on making a decision to approach this person, or it could be somebody is working on this decision to approach you. What's going on here? Show me the decision, please. Can I get a stronger idea? A Queen of Cups. Ah, okay, Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups. If we are taking this into the interpretation as your heart space, you do seem to be dissatisfied. So the more time that goes on and the longer you take to make this decision to try to get a new Ten of Pentacles in your life, to get that established and grounded, just please know I do believe your heart space is open, but there's something here that's lacking and you know it. It's, it's time to get complete again. You know it's time to get complete again. It feels that way. Let me know if you're dealing with Scorpio. Okay, this is the per there's someone here that there was a delay with. I'm telling you, it does not have to be an ex. It does not have to be an ex. So what I'm saying is that there was a delay with somebody here. Okay, um, Seven of Pentacles, delay, 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 Knight of Pentacles. Okay, now it could be that there is a Queen of Cups here. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces does not have to be, you know. The Four of Cups, they feel like they've been waiting a long time. Show me this Four of Cups, please. Yes, yes, yeah, okay, as I said that. So this is the other person I don't, again, does not have to be X. Okay, but yeah, they've been waiting a long time for you to communicate. This person that does not leave you, you wonder if you can have a Ten of Pentacles with them, but you don't know that you are personally ready to pursue this person. They've been waiting for you a long time. Literally waiting for you a long time. That's where that kind of dissatisfaction is. Their heart space is open and it's in a good place. Uh, they're very intuitive and very nurturing, but they feel like they've been waiting a long time for the offer. Or reverse energies as you see fit. Show me that Seven of Cups, please. Show me that Seven of Cups. Show me that Seven of Cups. Show me that Seven of Cups, please. Considering the options to extend. Oh, yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. Six of Cups with Justice, yes. I think the bigger part of you is telling yourself, Capricorn, get over your fears, get over your self-doubt. It's time for the new Ten of Pentacles. This person represents a new hope, a new sense of pathway and justice. Your options in love is to balance up with the Six of Cups, this person whom you know and you have nostalgia with. Again, it doesn't have to be an ex. Six of Cups is shared memories, shared feelings, and you can accumulate that just by having, I don't know, regular lunches with somebody. It happens all the time. Okay? But yes, you're going to balance up with the Six of Cups. Okay? They are longing for you in their heart space. They've been waiting on you. They might even be telling you that. I've been waiting for you a long time. And Capricorn's like, I was working through some stuff. And so you were. Okay? And so you were. And there you are again at the King of Pentacles. Oh, you feel quite good about this. You feel really good about this. Look at you. King of Pentacles. You feel really good about this. Yeah. Look at that. That's gorgeous. A new soul contract. A sense of victory. You know, um, so it is looking like they are well reciprocating your energy. They really are. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, but in the meantime, you need to give some deep contemplation here. Let me know if you're dealing with Gemini or Virgo. Or perhaps you have those placements in your chart. For some of you, your person that you were struggling to free yourself from, you had to give deep contemplation to a Gemini, who is the person, your ex-person. Possibly Sag as well, it's coming across very strongly, or Taurus. Okay, you either have to give deep contemplation to this person who's looking like they're exiting your life, okay, or you need to give deep contemplation to this person who is just really waiting to connect with you. They're just waiting to connect with you for your energy to be free. I feel like they've been waiting a minute. You seem to be aware of that to some extent. You do balance up with them in the end, but give deep contemplation to this lover. Okay, they either are the one that you need to leave behind or the one that you need to engage. Okay, in terms of your energy, energy engagement. That's what I mean. All right. Uh, but just please know the bigger part of you is getting ready, preparing yourself for that Ten of Pentacles again. 
having the commitment, the long-term, the stability, hearth and home, someone to care and to be cared for, to protect and to be protected. Okay. Okay. Moving forward with strength and conviction. Okay. Moving forward. Strength and conviction. Excellent. Chariot's here twice. Very good. Okay. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? What's going on? Snake. Snake. Right there. Mirroring. You mirror each other. You're reflecting each other's wounds. You reflect each other's wounds here. And it would explain that five and five energy here. Okay. Um, you hurt me, I hurt you. You're emotionally distant from me, I'll be emotionally distant from you. You don't talk to me, I won't talk to you. You think I'm a burden? Well, I think you're a burden. Boat, you will be receiving what you need in time. Okay, you will be arriving to the appropriate conclusion in time, making healthy choices for yourself. Some of you identify with running. Then we have the runner in reverse. Okay, a couple thoughts there. Uh, first of all, you might identify with running. That's the simplest, okay, most basic. Uh, interpretation. Okay, some of you associate running with healthy choices. Those two could go together. Uh, also, but with the runner in reverse, not wanting to deal with something or not wanting to see something, okay, for a very long time. Using our moral code and justification to justify what little feeling we have. Well, I still have a moral code of ethics, never mind my feelings and how small they are for this situation or this person. Um, I'm putting up with this or fighting for this because I have to, not because I want to. That's also the hair font, which is unfortunately his catch-22. Okay. He's beautiful. But it's also his catch-22. Okay. But yeah, so stop running. Stop running. Or start running. Okay. There's someone else waiting for you in a very real sense. They even anticipate your energy to some extent, which is interesting. This Queen of Cups. They have a very open heart space. Very nurturing, very caring. And I feel like they're just waiting to love you. Honestly, I do. Perhaps that's the person you need to give consideration to. Okay. Uh, it is looking like a Six of Cups soul bond energy. Of course it is. Okay. Oh, Love call. <laughs> it's time to put out a love call. Clock is ticking, as you know. And back here, we fell out of love. Separation behind that. It just keeps going. The snake, that's really concerning. Somebody feels clever here. Which I see with that Five of Swords energy. Somebody thinks they're very clever and that they, um, they like to win wars tit for tat, but it's more like um, mental manipulation versus emotional uh, manipulation, and I don't care for it here with that five and five energy. I think you two just got used to it. Perhaps you got caught up in it, you know, especially if you have a higher level of commitment as that hair font suggests. You just got used to what little you were giving each other. Okay. All right, Capricorn, I hope you're able to choose for yourself in the future. The correct pathway that is for you. Take comfort in what it is you know. A new ten of pentacles in time. I do feel like someone's waiting on your energy. I don't, um, but not in a bad way. It's more like, um, I was always looking for you. That kind of thing. Okay, Capricorn, I hope this message finds you well. Comment to GC Fit. Take care. Be well.